The story is this, with more than 20 COVID-19 testing sites across our area, the number of tests taken continues to increase, yet the results are delayed. Hundreds are still pending. KDK's Kara Rucker right now joining us on why the backlog is going on. Kara. For starters, Neil, the backlog of tests mean people who think they have the coronavirus are waiting weeks on end to find out their results. Yet when you go take your test, they say you'll get those results within 96 hours. Sites ran by the state are far behind that schedule in our area. If you'll remember, we went to a testing site in Marshall two weeks ago. I took the COVID-19 test to show you how that process goes. And as of today, haven't heard back with my result. This is happening not only in East Texas, but across the state. Dallas reporting a delay. Some Waco and Houston sites. One doctor saying our process is new and that's something the state is trying to figure out along the way. The state is, has its own learning curve here that's going on as well. Uh, if they um, provide testing services in the future. My hope and expectation is is, is that, that this kind of delay um, will uh, will not occur or will at least be uh, much shorter. And according to the Texas Department of Emergency Management, the reason for the longer delays is directly related to the higher demand with thousands of people getting tested daily. We're still waiting to learn how many tests are pending in the East Texas area and where those tests are being sent off to. I'm reporting live in the studio, Kara Rucker, KETK News.